In this video, we will learn to fix Need for Speed Rivals Error MSVCP110.dll missing. So let's begin. Go in the description and there will be a link to this page that is dll-files.com and here the heading says download msvcp110.dll Once you land on this page, just scroll down below and here we have to download the 64-bit as well as 32-bit files. So first we have to check that we download the files of the same version. So here we have the two files of the same version that is for 32-bit and of the same version for 64-bit. First we would download the 32-bit operating system file. So here we have the download, uh, download page and the download will start in few seconds. Now just go and download the 64-bit file of the same version. So we would download the 64-bit file now. Meanwhile, we have to check what kind of system we have. Is it 32-bit operating system or 64-bit operating system? For that, just go to your desktop, just go to your this PC, right-click it, and click on Properties. And here, against the system tab, you can see what kind of system we have. So we have 64-bit operating system. Once you have found that, just close it. In this video, we will solve the problem for 32-bit system as well as 64-bit operating system. Now, just go to your download folder. Here we have both the files downloaded. First, extract the 32-bit file. Extract it. And now, extract the 64-bit file. Once we have extracted the both, first, we would solve the problem for 32-bit operating system. For that, just go and open the 32-bit folder and here just copy the 32-bit DLL file. Once we have copied it, just go to your this PC, right click it and click on open in new window and here just go and to local disk C, go to windows and here just scroll down below and search for system32. Scroll down below and here we have system32, just go and open that and paste the 32-bit DLL file here. Paste it here, click continue go back now we have solved the problem for 32-bit operating system now we would start solving the problem for 64-bit operating system for that just go and copy the 64-bit operating system DLL file copy it and go to Windows folder open the system 32 and paste the 64-bit DLL file here once you have copied the 64-bit DLL file, just go and into your system32 folder and here paste the 64-bit DLL file. Click on continue. Once you have done so, go back and here copy the 32-bit DLL file again, copy it. Go to your Windows folder, scroll down below and search for SysWow64. So here we have SysWow64, just go and open that and paste the 32-bit DLL file here. Paste it here. Click continue. Now we have solved the problem for 64-bit operating system also. If you still have any confusion, I will paste all the method in the description of this video. By doing so, hope the problem will be solved. If you still have any confusion, just comment down below. I will try to answer that. But before you go, please subscribe, like and share. Thank you.